EcoFlow is a trusted solar energy brand powering millions of homes with portable batteries. And that has always had a taste for innovation, especially with that awesome solar hat that Baptiste wears on his head when we do reports. And it protects him from the sun, but also lets him recharge the camera with the solar panels on it. Well, there you go. It's not the best product EcoFlow has made, but it shows their willingness to innovate in this field. I've wanted to try out their products on this channel for a long time. And I finally got my hands on their brand new battery, the Stream Ultra, and its variant, the Stream AC Pro. I suggest that in this video, I introduce these products, show how I installed them at home and explain their uses. And most importantly, at the end, we'll see if it's a good investment to save energy. Let's get started. Let's begin. With the EcoFlow Stream Ultra, which is right next to me, it's a portable battery, which means you can easily move it anywhere. It weighs 23 kg, is easy to carry, and has 1.92 kW of internal storage. To recharge it, we have two options. The first option is simply to plug it into a socket in our house. It can automatically store surplus power from our rooftop solar panels, regardless of brand, up to 1200 W, the battery tracks both house consumption and solar panel production. Thanks to a smart meter that we install in our electrical panel, it works the same way as all the other batteries on the market. Second option, you can connect up to four 500 W panels directly to the battery, so that's 2000 W of solar input. That's ideal, as EcoFlow offers 520 W peak solar panels, so we have all we need in their ecosystem. Next, to use the battery's energy, we have two options. The first is connecting the battery to a household socket. It can deliver up to 800W to all devices connected to the network. The battery's second option is two AC outlets for plugging in devices directly. No more than 2300W and the battery will deliver 1200W and look for the remaining 1100W through the other batteries installed in the house or through the network. If you want a large setup, you can connect up to six EcoFlow Stream Ultra units together. Having 12 kW of solar panels and 11.52 kW of storage is excellent, as 11.52 kW can provide self-sufficiency for one or more days depending on usage. On the other hand, 12 kW of solar panel input is way too much. We don't need that many solar panels. So it would have been nice if EcoFlow made the same battery, but without the solar inputs, just with storage. Well, that's exactly what they did with the Stream AC Pro. You see, it looks exactly like the Stream Ultra. Ultra. Except there's only one difference. It doesn't have an input for solar panels. It's just for storage. Storage. If you want to generate electricity with EcoFlow, for example, combine a Stream Ultra with two AC Pros for 2000 W output and 5.76 kW storage. For example, two Stream Ultras and four AC Pros provide 4000 W of output and 11.52 kW storage. And if you already have plenty of solar panels on your roof and you only need to store the surplus, well, just get AC Pros. What's great about this kind of system is that you can start by buying one, two or three batteries and then gradually expand the system. These batteries have a 10 year warranty and a 15 year lifespan, so they'll last a long time. EcoFlow suggests placing batteries around your home near the devices you use, allowing direct connection. For example, in my living room, I use a battery that prioritizes powering my internet box and television, then supplies the rest of the house. In the kitchen, I plugged my fridge straight into it. EcoFlow ensured their batteries look good. The goal isn't to hide them, but to embrace them. On the app, I can set up a backup reserve. That means, for example, I've set it so that my battery will never discharge more than 40% in case of a power outage. So I can keep powering my devices and avoid everything in my fridge from going bad. And now I'll show you how I installed them at home and how I use them for... I installed a smart meter in my electrical panel so my system can track both my solar panel output and home energy use. So I didn't install the one from EcoFlow. I installed a Shelly because it's a brand that works with all systems. But if you're only using EcoFlow, use the smart meter that comes with their package. Then in my living room, I installed the Stream Ultra. I plug my television and my internet box directly into it and I plug the battery into a power outlet. There you go. 
In the kitchen, I installed the Stream AC Pro. I plugged the fridge into it and the battery into the power outlet. Personally, I have a lot of solar panels on the roof, so I could have just bought AC Pros to store the surplus. I didn't need to connect panels. That's it for this video. For the test, I still have a Stream Ultra and an AC Pro. So during the day, the batteries store the surplus from my solar panels and at night, they power my internet box, my television and my fridge. And if there's a power outage, I can still count on them to have the basics since they send 800 watts into the house. So I'll still have light, my fridge won't be off. I'll always have internet, television. I'll always have modern comforts with no problem during the few hours of a power outage. Subtitles. Artificial intelligence can control batteries based on your home's weather. Who knows if the panels will generate much electricity tomorrow? And they can, as a preventive measure, buy energy during off-peak hours, so you can use it during peak hours and thus maximize your energy savings. All battery manufacturers use this system. The small detail with EcoFlow is it's 10 euros monthly or 70 euros yearly, so it's not very cost effective if you only have one, two or three batteries. On the other hand, if you start having a large EcoFlow system, it might be worth paying for this artificial intelligence to really optimize your whole system. Even though I think it's a shame that it's not free, but EcoFlow has its reasons for doing that. With six batteries, you can get close to being self-sufficient, but with two batteries, I'm very far from being self-sufficient. It's really just to save energy, and that's exactly what we're going to see in this part. These two batteries cost me 2,099 euros, and we'll see how long it will take me to pay them off. In my profitability calculation, I'm not including the solar panels because they're already guaranteed for 40 years, so they'll outlast several systems. Plus, you can get affordable plug-and-play solar panels or may already have them on your roof. In short, there are a thousand possible cases, so I prefer to focus only on the profitability of the batteries. The batteries are guaranteed for 10 years, which is about 6,000 usage cycles. And keep in mind, after 6,000 cycles, they won't be dead. They are guaranteed to retain 70% of their original capacity. Multiplying 6,000 cycles by 3.84 kilowatts means our system can reliably provide 23,040 kilowatts. Let's imagine that we use the battery in an equivalent way each year. That amounts to 2,304 kilowatt annually over 10 years. That's 6.3 kilowatts per day or about two discharge cycles daily. That makes sense. Currently, a kilowatt which is about 20 cents and prices are expected to rise by 4 to 5% on average per year. Let's say 5% because that's the figure generally used by brands. So each year you can expect to save an average of 580 euros over the next 10 years. So after 4 years I will have paid off these batteries which are guaranteed for 10 years and will be usable for almost 15 years. In 4 years they'll be profitable and serve me for 15 years. So it's actually quite an interesting investment and we're looking at a price range that's similar to what the competition offers. I'm not saying you need to buy this battery soon, there's no hurry. Think about your needs, think about the ecosystem you want to use for your home. But in any case, the products from EcoFlow work very well. I find this battery very stylish, it connects very easily to the app, the system is quite simple to use. So uh, I really want to make more videos to push my test a bit further to see if it can power my electric car, for example. Anyway, I have plenty of ideas. By the way, leave your ideas in the comments what you want me to put these batteries through. Most importantly, subscribe so you don't miss upcoming videos. Thanks for watching until the end. This was Julian Malara. See you very soon on this channel.